great to be back in Portland after five years, right? Um, was also, uh, by the way, Portland, very musical city. Uh, the moment I got off the light rail from the airport, um, I, I saw this, this, this kid walking with, with, with headphones down the street, maybe 16, 17 years old, going, um, in your head, in your head, zombie, zombie. Fantastic, yes. There, we don't have that in Austria, yes. Um, and <laughs> it's really cool. And um, so he, that was probably this kid's tribute to Dolores O'Riordan, the a cranberry singer, uh, who unfortunately died earlier this year, um, and so I want to dedicate this talk to Dolores O'Riordan. This one's for you. Okay, so um, maybe some, uh, who of you was uh, at Typecon Denver? Okay, a couple, uh, not so many actually. So, um, I showed uh, this font um, at uh, Typecon Denver. By the way, uh, this here, uh, you see I'm in text edit, this is all live, and there's no um, uh, there's no slides or anything. This is not a movie. I'm really typing this here. Um, and this is a this is a font that originated um, in uh, in Istanbul uh, during ISTYPE 2013. Um, we had a type conference in the middle of the Gezi Park protests. If you um, if you're familiar with that, uh, those, where the Erdogan regime cracked down on the protesters. Uh, I think there were people injured, even uh, even a few dead. And in the middle of this, we had a type conference. Uh, like, like this one here, like there's, uh, I think there were racists uh, uh, marching yesterday, yes, uh, and here we're having a type conference, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I thought, um, how can I, uh, what can I do um, uh, to support uh, the Gacy Park protests uh, uh, typographically? If you type the word Gacy, it, uh, it takes its space. And also, of course, I had to, um, I had to do something anti Edwan. Um, so if you try to type the word Erdogan, it goes into Erdogan. Yeah. Yes. Oh, by the way, this uh, this is also like the future font, a font in constant progress. Uh, um, at, uh, I've been updating this uh, with colors. Um, so now you get Erdogan in the colors of the rainbow. Wow. Cool. Um, Yes, uh, and it, it didn't stop there. E ever since, there's a lot of uh, bullshit happening in politics, um, not only in Turkey, um, also in, in, in Europe. And um, you may be familiar with uh, the uh, Italian politician Salvini. Uh, if, you, uh, if you don't know him, he's, uh, he's a racist asshole. Uh, sorry, I'm not supposed to... Sorry, <laughs> but, but uh, the right-wingers are against uh, uh, political correctness, right? So it's like we name them by their names, right? So, um, and he, he is okay with people drowning in the Mediterranean uh, and turning the Mediterranean red. Um, and uh, I think he deserves this required ligature. Sorry, Salvini, I cannot turn this off. There's nothing I can do. So whenever I type your name, that's just a nice. And I thought, um, since, uh, because, uh, since this country is great again, um, <laughs> you know, you have to do it in capital letters because uh, here's the best letters, right? That the capitals, those capitalist, cap capitalist letters. So if you do that, yeah, I have. <laughs> no, sorry, it's not my fault. It's a required ligature. There's nothing. I cannot turn it off. Uh, uh, if, if you're if you're familiar with. Um, uh, with, with open type ligatures, you know, there's the standard ligatures that are on by default that the user can turn off. There are the discretionary ligatures that are off by default that the user can turn on. And there are the required ligatures. Sorry, I cannot do anything about it. It's just how it is. Um, and by the way, um, this is um, um, uh, um, in, um, in the latest Mac OS version, um, this is um, the CPEL color fonts are now supported in there. And I, I like how the hair is like above the, uh, the autocorrect line. <laughs> like, wow, great implementation, Apple. Wow. So um, the hair goes above all. Um, and if you, you, you might remember that we also had like games in there, so you can play games in this font, uh, and uh, maybe like this, and then I go, yes, yeah. Huh. Uh, and it's now all in color, yeah, fantastic. Um, or um, I love this game. Yeah, and uh, oh, I love to play this. Uh, you know, this is uh, what is it called in English? Rockers, rock, stone, scissors, blah, 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 yeah, whatever. Um, and um, and I love to play this with the audience. Um, so uh, I get to be player one, 
right? And I, I play, um, I secretly uh, push either one for scissors, two for stone, or three for paper, and you're player two now. Now, who's for one scissors? No one? Okay, who's for rock? And who's for paper? I think that's the majority, and then, ah, damn it, you win. Okay. <laughs> Let, wait, 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 Let's try again. <laughs> okay, all right, so, okay. So who's for one? Scissors. Who's for rock? Who's for paper? All right, I think that was scissors now. And <laughs> got, a, got a cheat mode built in. So I think this is the first font with a cheat mode. <clears throat> yes. Um, and even the, if those of you who were there, there, there was the Marienbad uh, movie game uh, in there, uh, turned that into colors as well. Um, uh, if, if you're not familiar uh, with the game, uh, it's about taking away these, um, these sticks here, and uh, whoever uh, has to take the last stick uh, uh, loses, right? So it's, it works like this. And the cool thing about this game is uh, it has an open type feature. <laughs> so this is how you activate open type features, by the way, in, in, in text edit, in case you didn't know. Um, and there is an alternative stylistic set, and it has, it's called Marienbart Artificial Intelligence. <laughs> I, and the artificial intelligence now also in colors, and I can, I can type, for instance, B2, and, and the font plays against me. Um, this is the font playing against me, and I can, I can go like, like this, and, uh, and then, ooh, ooh, this is not looking good for me, I think. I uh, try this one. Oh, you lose. Try again. Now, um, uh, the, uh, those of you who know that game know, know that it's an unfair game, a so-called unfair game. The second player, uh, if he or she does not make a mistake, can force their victory. And the second player is uh, my font and uh, uh, the, um, the, the open type feature uh, in that game always plays the ideal move after you, so it will always win. So it's the unbeatable font. Um, <clears throat> yes. All right. Um, so much for, for, for a, an, an update for this. Uh, I will be adding uh, politicians' names and, and right-wingers and racists uh, being called out and being corrected in the text. So whenever you, you set the text, um, uh, the, uh, their name will automatically be corrected uh, to what they uh, to their required ligature. Good. So, but there is, uh, oh, there's more stuff like this. Okay, so, oh, there's even more stuff like this. Okay, so, okay let me get it. This is live typing, this is real life. So, so this is the proof. Um, okay, uh, where do I start? I think, I think most of you um, know this, right? Have you seen this? Who has seen this? Yeah. Um, this is a font, for those of you who have not seen this. This is a font you can actually select, you can copy and paste this. Um, and um, and what, what's really happening under the, under the hood is, um, is, uh, where is, zip. It's a very simple HTML and CSS uh, that, um, that tells, the, it's a variable font with a single glyph, and it tells simply to uh, basically uh, um, animate that font along um, a variable font axis. In this, came, uh, this case, one called uh, text, uh, text, I say, time, sorry. And um, uh, it's done by Lawrence Penny, who either is already in the audience or is still recovering from last night. Oh, I see him over there. Um, and uh, I, 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 so, so, uh, Lawrence, I wanted to ask you if I can show this, but uh, since I couldn't reach you early enough, now I'll just show you without asking you. Um, you can, <laughs> uh, uh, he, he, he updated it with colors as well. And yes, colors and variable fonts go well together. Um, same thing, um, just with, uh, with colors, pretty cool. Um, now, this started a trend, right? So you can animate stuff, uh, and um, you may or may not be aware of, um, um, uh, of what Toshi uh, Omagari did. He, did. he also took that, uh, that Mybridge horse, Edward Mybridge, uh, and uh, uh, did those uh, photos, I think, at the end of the 19th century, if I believe. Um, if, uh, I think I'm, um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, to, to settle the question, uh, is, 
uh, are the horse's hoofs uh, off the ground at one point during the gallop or, or not. And um, he did that with a series of, of uh, quick photos he took. And uh, these are, um, uh, this is also a variable font you see here. This is a single glyph. I think the uppercase A, you can select it and uh, you can select it and uh, uh, I don't know, then uh, this, is, this is an A and paste it somewhere, right? Um, no, I don't want to. Um, and, but this is uh, taken from an animated GIF, uh, an, a converted animated GIF um, from the original photos. Uh, and uh, if you look closely, this has been turned into a half-tone variable font. So these are lots of little um, squares that grow uh, bigger and smaller in order to, uh, to create the, uh, the sense of uh, you know, darker and brighter spots. Um, and it's a, it's a half-tone raster animated, pretty cool, right? Um, and um, yes, and, you, you, uh, and he, he, <laughs> he wrote a script that would turn an animated GIF into a variable font, or like, uh, like this one, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, and these are really, this is a half-tone, right? These are, uh, this, and all these are vectors. This, this is a, a scalable, um, variable font. And of course, since it's a half tone, you can, you can do what we've always been doing with half tones. You can give it different colors and put it on top of each other, and then you get stuff like this. So these are three letters on top of each other. Oops, sorry, there's a glitch. <clears throat> yes. And if I zoom into these, you see there's three different uh, rectangles that grow bigger and, and, and smaller. Um, and together, additive uh, color mixing uh, also did like a goldfish. Hey, you saw for a second uh, while the while the fonts were still loading, you saw the separate uh, letters, right, in red, green, blue. So this is really three letters A, B, C in red, green, blue, and um, yeah. So, <clears throat> but of course, um, this is not a very good uh, replacement for variable f uh, for for animated uh, GIFs because you see here it has eight. It's a one font with eight megabytes and it only only has three glyphs inside A, a B, C. So, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, it's probably not gonna uh, replace animated um, GIFs anytime soon. So, um, not to be outdone uh, in, uh, in in introductory workshops uh, for glyphs, I often. Um, do things with, uh, uh, do, do stuff with, um, uh, I, I do variable fonts now with, uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with people who take part in, in, um, uh, in my workshops. And, and of course, to make it more fun, we can do little animations like this. Uh, so here we have a, a rocket, right, that can take off. And oops, there's a glitch there. It's Safari, not me. It's not in the variable font. And then we can uh, adjust the fire. And then, of course, um, uh, we can we can animate that with that simple CSS. Yeah? And then um, have stuff like that. And this is a font. You can select it and copy and paste it and um, and write with it even if you like. So but, uh, I don't think it makes much sense to write with it. But um, and uh, of course. Uh, students get uh, creative and ask, uh, now, can we also put the cat in the rocket? Yes, we can. Yes, you can put cats in a rocket with variable fonts. Fantastic, right? And uh, see, this one going off. And this is scalable animation, right? This is vector animation, fantastic. So you can scale it to any size. Um, and if we can put a cat in a rocket, can we also put a dog in a submarine? And yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Yes. So this is this is the dog. Yes, looking around. Yeah, a little scared, going down. Um, um, what else do we have? The lazy air dog. Oh, yes. And here, of course, in uh, a couple of days ago, we had um, uh, uh, we had a fantastic uh, workshop here. Um, and what do you do in Oregon? You do a beaver. <laughs> yes, it's fantastic. So we get uh, fantastic. The Oregon beaver. Yes, I've, I've had a workshop with 10 beavers uh, done and all animated, all looking at you like this and yes, yeah. Okay, pretty cool. Beaver workshop, fantastic. Um, and um, last thing I wanna show 
is a project by a um, fellow Austrian called uh, Thomas Meyer. <clears throat> and, um, uh, and, and he also did a proof of concept uh, font. Uh, so I'm opening this in uh, uh, my font editor of choice. Um, and, um, um, and uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, this, uh, and he, 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 he created a font with lots of pictograms that animate. Right. So, for instance, this one, you turn on and off the light, right? Zip. And what it actually does is, if you look closely, at one point, you see there's a little rectangle with a reverse path orientation <coughs> uh, being dragged up here. Zip. Uh, but it happens so quickly here whoop, that you think it's turning the light on and off. Yeah, fantastic. And I think I can even make this animate like this. Turn the light on and off. Yeah. So. Maybe also political metaphor, light turn on. OK. Um, you can even do a highway pictogram, if you like, and animate it. Um, yeah, highway, that's um, you drive with cars on a highway, right? Um, and uh, that's a form of transportation that's a little, uh, yeah, you can, all sorts of cars, of course. Um, but of course, it's dangerous, right? So you, um, you have to be careful. Um, car driving, I think many, many deaths in car accidents uh, and people injured and so on. So we have to look for al alternative uh, ways of uh, transportation. Uh, train, for instance, or uh, uh, airplane but, uh, or helicopter. Not everyone can afford these. So maybe, um, maybe we'll stick with, um, with the boat and the fish jumping. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but you have to watch out for light, light, uh, lighthouses, of course. Um, and it's also dangerous, right? So, um, so, so this, this is also not a, um, uh, a safe way of transportation. Luckily, it's, 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 just, um, it's just a variable font. Don't worry. So. And uh, then you end up like this. Okay. <clears throat> it would be great for higher order interpolation, of course. Um, so, uh, again, a different form of transportation. I come from Austria, a very mountainous country. We have, uh, this is how we go into the mountains there. Um, but uh, also dangerous because you can lose your hat on there. <clears throat> and uh, so we stay at home in the malls, but also dangerous. Uh, you, have, don't, you must not, you, get, you have to get off the escalators in time. Otherwise, you, yeah. Um, so, or, or this one. Um, so the, the, the big question, should it be, take a, a motorbike or should we take the bike? With variable fonts, you can have both. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah? Um, cars and buses and taxis and buses and, and big cars, small cars. Um, so, or uh, uh, even interpolate between a train and a bus. And, uh, but um, these uh, forms of transportation rely on fossil fuels, so not good. <clears throat> so we... Uh, keep uh, to the rocking chair, take care of the kids, of course. Um, uh, and uh, remember, um, it, uh, when we were so young, we, we uh, spent hours looking at these, and, um, or, or, or these things, but also very dangerous because you have to have uh, scissors for that. Um, and uh, yeah, take care of the kids, uh, animate kids pictogram, and even that. This is the one thing no one talks I've, I've been told, if this grosses you out, you don't have kids. <laughs> so, all right. We go to the playground a lot with the kids. Yeah, you spend hours. Um, this, uh, yeah, you, you have to work out a lot uh, it's, um, and do this. It's more fun with friends, of course. Uh, and, uh, but when I mean, you do sports, don't lose your head. And uh, because you might end up in a wheelchair, and then that's, uh, you have to play with the kids like this. And then, so this is the preferred type designer's position. Stay in your seat. Don't, don't go anywhere. It's too dangerous. Uh, make your fonts. Make your variable fonts. Uh, drink a lot of coffee. Uh, drink a lot of water, of course. Uh, be hydrated. Um, write your proposals for TypeCon and uh, send them off. Send them really off, and they will throw them away for you. <laughs> and then, yeah, so, so. No, no, so. Oh, no, 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 they, they, it's, it's fake news, fake news, fake news. Yeah. And uh, so I had sleepless nights until they, they accepted it. And um, so um, it's a stressful job, so you have to take a vacation once in a while. So you go to your travel agency, and I don't know what happens there, but uh, uh, so be careful what you pack. Um, 
Otherwise, you spend a lot of time explaining to airport security what you've been doing there, but eventually you can fly off, right? Oops. And then travel around the world um, and the, uh, read a book once in a while, look at deer, um, uh, go for a swim, uh, and oh, this is the pornographic section. Uh, and I hope. <laughs> I hope everyone's um, old enough, everyone's above 21, I hope. And um, yes, so it's so hot here. Uh, so, and uh, don't forget to bring him. I love this one. This is the all encompassing, uh, this is everything. Like, uh, so what, uh, so the, the question, what, what, what should we put on, on, the, um, uh, on, on the restrooms on the outside? Now you just put a variable font, you have everything, right? So <laughs> that's like, uh, um, okay, last one. Uh, I, have, uh, I love this one, um, and actually you can put it into a complete story, actually. Uh, this, uh, this guy here brings this guy home. Zzz. Now, this guy's at home, oh, it's a safe form of transportation, of course, and then it's the end of the day and he goes home himself, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's the end, thank you very much. And, uh,